Why, hello everyone, welcome back to Stormblood on Playframe, and welcome back to the conclusion of the Stormblood Hildebrand quests! Hildebrand, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry. <laughs> Solving all the crimes. Doing all the things. <laughs> falling in the dirt. <laughs> Uh, Messing up his suit. <laughs> off he goes to space. So, <laughs> someday he'll be back. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Very nicely done. Thank you. We got there. Like a moth to the flame, but why else would you come if not for Nashu Makaraka and Inspector Hildebrand's shenanigans? They know. Well, you got us there. Oh, where in the world could he be? Hello. I've come in my outfit. Oh, it's you. I don't suppose you bumped into Inspector Hildebrand roaming about, have you? Making his inquiries? No. Oh, ever since Shigure got detained by the Sekisegumi, the inspector's been busy looking into the affairs of Master Akebono, but to no avail. Ah, hello. Never fear, my faithful assistants. I have returned. Your unwavering loyalty to the pursuit of honor and justice and hard-boiled egg is to be commended, my good man. I might go so far as to say that in all my years as an inspector, I have known no fan more passionate than you. It's an honor, sir. But speaking of fans, during the course of my investigation into the darker rumors concerning Master Akebono, I received a mysterious missive I can but presume was penned by none other than my many admirers. Oh. Pose for effect. Gosh, Inspector Hildebrand, even in the Far East you've got yourself a following. Can I see it? Certainly, Nashu. Hmm, that's interesting. It's definitely not written by a Hingun, but they don't seem to be too good with their Eorzean letters. Yay, something something of light. You who seeks the strongest of swords, the Soboro Sukehiro, know that I have laid claim to this most priceless treasure. If you would make it yours, meet me upon Kogane Ohashi for a duel to end all duels. Sincerely, you know who. The something something of light, you say? Why, he must be referring to none other than my humble self, the one and only gentleman of light. Ah, of course. That said, I would much rather resolve this dispute without resorting to duels and the like. Wait here, my friends, while I go and attempt to reason with this misguided ruffian. Good plan. Um, I'm pretty sure they wrote warrior, not gentleman. Which probably means they're talking about Dermin. What do you think, Inspector? I Inspector Hildebrand? He left. What do you mean he up and ran off? And why are you still standing here? You should hurry up and try to catch him before he does something silly. Oh, come on. When would he do something silly? <laughs> Once again, uh, playing on that joke of senshi and shinshi being very similar words in Japanese, <laughs> meaning both gentleman and warrior. I forgot about that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll wait here in case he comes back. Agreed? Right then. Yes, yes, yes. I pursue. Echo's been learning a little bit of Japanese, and we're realizing that a lot of Japanese naming in media is just puns. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> it's just puns or food. That's kind of delightful. Yeah. Just a whole layer that I've been missing out on. Where in this world would you say Victor considers home, do you think? Oh, definitely the Black Shroud. Oh, yeah? Is that where you started out? I'm realizing it's one of the few places canonically populated with uh, moon Makote, which uh, oh, yeah. the more I learn about them, the more they're just kind of a very small population of Makote. Interesting. Yeah. 
I haven't had a chance to actually sit down and flip through the Encyclopedia Eorzea. I feel like there's all kinds of world building stuff like that, which I'm kind of missing out on. Oh, it's great. I really love them. They're gorgeous books. Where's Derman actually from? Is he from is he from Thanalan? A lot of Lalafella from there. Yeah, yeah. I started things off in uh, Ulda, uh, just since it seems relatively story relevant early on, and uh, mm-hmm. it's felt like home for better or worse. <laughs> Mostly worse. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there he is. That didn't take long. Is that you, Derman? As you can see, I seem to have found myself in a pickle, and by pickle, I mean the ground. Yes, sir. Kugane Ohashi lies beyond this gate, but before I could pass through, I found myself suddenly accosted, then inverted, then embedded thusly by the dear but misguided Jim. The duel I must regrettably leave up to you. Got it covered, sir. Um, you sit tight. Trial time! Trial time. Yes, there's a trial for this one, which I've never seen before. This should be quite interesting. Let me go ahead and get into fighting duds and acquire a crew for us real quick. BRB. All right, there we are. Got ourselves a crew and also got ourselves switched to some different jobs just to make life, uh, at least for my part, a little bit easier. Victor will now be a ninja. Mm -hmm. Loving that the bell is still featured. Very, very good. (laughs) (laughs) Extremely good. All right. Let's see about getting inside. Kugane Ohashi. In the far eastern realm of Hingashi, in the pitch of night, perched atop a ship's mast, a warrior waits. In his hand, a sacred treasure, a sword without peer. Yet the enigmatic Yojimbo is a man with many secrets secreted within his many sleeves, all which he is prepared to bring to bear against his most fearsome and radiant foe. Let us begin. I've never done this one before. I'm excited to see. Commence. Gorgeous. For far, far too long have I awaited for this rematch. The Soboro Sukehiro may have brought us together, but twas fate that ordained we engage in glorious fisticuffs, but with swords once more. Victory will be mine this day. So yeah, yeah, there's a random side dungeon that's optional in which you can fight Yojimbo, who's been hired by some other just scumbag. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> here's our party who will be helping us out today. Let me do quick introductions. We are no, that's not the that's not the this is the one. Here we go. Of course, uh, I am here. Uh, we've got as tanks Isaac and Sof. Uh, healers will be Mikkel and Tire, and fellow damage dealers will of course be Victor and Sof and Lostar. Loving the portrait, by the way. It's very good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Welcome, all of you, and thank you for joining on short notice. This is very impromptu. I'm very excited for this battle. Let us begin. Get him! The time has come, and so have I. It's a beautiful arena. Mm -hmm. I did not expect such fierce opposition. And from eight of you, no less. Oh, okay. Whoa. Stand back. I would call out and explain mechanics, but I don't know them. So this, we're all just going to be experiencing this together. For Yojimbo, it is Gilgameshing time. I beg your pardon. There he is! (laughs) Plot twist! I thought you seemed familiar. Yes, tis I, the man, the myth, the legend! Divide and conquer, Gilgamesh style! Okay. (laughs) Oh my. Where'd you get the dog, though? Good question. I have more questions. Oh. Are these the stack up kind? These are a stack, yes. I'm so small. Even more than usual. So little. Uh oh. Someone woke the dragon. Oh dear. Look out. I've never been so tiny.
Whoop. Stacking up again. Share your Doritos. Share the Doritos. Whoop. Careful there. Don't stand there or here either, honestly. There we go. Careful. Doing well, everyone. Mm -hmm. I've missed Greg. Yeah. I've learned much and more in the Far East, my friends. Behold, double your pleasure, double your fun. Look behind you, a giant me. <laughs> this is great. There's one down. Oh dear. That's a lot. Whew. Our hearts sing in the chaos. Our hearts sing in the chaos. Whoa! <laughs> Doing the Susano thing. Beautiful. And it's raining, of course. You have some skill, I'll give you that. But Gilgamesh has only just begun to fight. What's the matter, friend? All tied up? We got you, we got you. Oh, we gotta free them. Very good. Just a moment. You'll be free shortly. There you go. Oop, one more. Yeah. Slippery little devil, aren't you? Most impressive. Very well. I too shall fight with all my strength. Behold the sword art of legend, Zanmato. Oh my. Ouch. That hurt. Big ouch. Oh wait. Center. Oh, he's doing straight up Susano attacks. I love it. Ooh. Almost got you. Oh boy. Mind the lightning. Mind the lightning. Oh, mind the lightning. Oh, it's bigger than I expected. <laughs> We're okay. And almost victorious. We're getting there. I, I will not be bested yet again. Have at thee! Oh my. I planned for Orly! Oh no, <laughs> Durbin! <laughs> I've made a very unfortunate choice of standing location. <laughs> we win though! I yield! I yield! I throw myself upon your boundless mercy and beg forgiveness, please. Let that be a lesson to anyone who stands on the other side of our Hildebrand antics. This is what happens. Mm -hmm. Ally yourself <laughs> with the Mandervilles or face this. <laughs> uh. It's good to see Greg again. Good job, everyone, and thank you all, both for the good posing and also for helping with this little battle.
We will get ourselves right back outside just as soon as I get changed. One moment. Assuming they let me in here. Claire's working not. here? I don't know if they do not. Never mind. I'll see you back outside regular then. <laughs> Very good. Don't need the sword. Okay. Excellent. How are you holding up down there? Ninja life taxing. <laughs> uh, a little bit. <laughs> it was Mojo's man. <laughs> I'm out of practice. <laughs> it's not easy. It's a hard life. <laughs> no. Hello. We meet again, Hildy. Greg? Greg! I say, you are a sight for sore eyes. However did you come to be here in Kugane? In the Far East, for that matter. Uh, well, you see, the thing about that is... I say, to think that Greg was masquerading as Jim this entire time. Indeed I was. After Durbin bested me a second time, I quit Eorzea and embarked upon a journey to distant lands that I might hone my skills in preparation for our inevitable third bout. But when I saw you had misread my carefully written words and come in his stead, I felt I had no choice but to remove you from the field forcibly. Pray forgive me my unkindness, Hildy. Well now. Now, now, Greg, there is no need for apologies between friends. Yet again, I must ask, though, how did you come to be here in Kugane as a ronin of much repute and a remarkably thin waist? That's a very different build you squeezed into. I know it seems far-fetched, even insulting to your intelligence, but there is a simple and highly satisfying explanation. In my quest to hone my skills and procure more powerful weapons overseas, I neglected to budget properly for food and drink, and soon found myself bereft of both. Driven to a deathly hunger, I fell to my knees, and in that instant looked to my bosom friend, the painted rooster that had offered me companionship in my darkest hour, oh dear. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> when dawn broke the following day, I was alone once more, a sliver of strength restored by the terrible sacrifice of my comrade, whose body and soul I would carry with me ever after. Enkidu! <laughs> <laughs> but by his grace, I survived for days and days after, until I chanced to cross paths with a stray dog. Who is for the time being still with us. <laughs> <laughs> for now. <laughs> he too was clearly a victim of the slings and arrows of outrageous misfortune. And in each other we found kindred spirits, we orphans of fate. Thus did I name him Daigoro, and therefore did we travel as one, working together that we might both live to see another day. Remind me to never go on a long trip with Gilgamesh. No. <laughs> When we at last arrived at Kugane, I sought employment as a mercenary to rebuild my misspent savings and resume my search for the strongest of swords. It was through such ventures that I acquired the Zanmato, in fact, and began to build my reputation as Yojimbo. Naturally, a legendary ronin must dress to meet the expectations of his clients, and so I assembled an outfit that would satisfy those who requested my services. It was around that time I first saw Derman walking the streets of Kugane, much to my surprise. Needless to say, the sight of the man who had bested me twice before was enough to rekindle the competitive spirit within me, and so when I heard tell of the Soboro Sukehiro, I knew I must claim it in preparation for our battle. The rest you know. Truly a riveting tale. And tragic besides, for though I fought with all my strength, yet again was I defeated by the great and powerful warrior of light. As I said to you on the bridge, no more tricks. I've taken my shot and fallen short, and so I will cease my shenanigans and instead pledge my complete support to your endeavors, that I might make amends for my misdeeds. And we should be glad to have it, Greg. Welcome aboard. Oh, yes. Let us return to Nashu and share with her the wonderful news. That sounds great. You too, Greg. You're a fully-fledged assistant now. Yay, welcome to the ranks. New subordinate.
All right, all right. Good to see this gang assembled once more. Truly, this was a twister no one could have possibly seen coming. <laughs> it was indeed. Good to see you again. I admit my defeat, brave warrior. Let us let bygones be bygones, you and I, and move forward in the spirit of camaraderie towards a common goal. I like the sound of that. But sorry, I didn't mean to click on you twice. You're very, You're very locked <laughs> with your hitbox. Just let me, um, there we go. <laughs> Terrible news, everyone. What is ever the matter, Nashu? It's Shigure. As punishment for helping the wolf burglar escape, he's been sentenced to death by ritual suicide. This is indeed a disturbing development, Hildy. We have no time to spare, my friends. Presuming the wolf burglar is in the wind, our only recourse is to delve deeper into the hidden past of Master Akebono and uncover proof that the sword he claims was stolen was first stolen by he himself. Divide and conquer, agents of inquiry style. Yeah. It's a plan. Delta split. Where, which way do we go? I, uh, like, <laughs> we'll, we'll go this way, probably. <laughs> I'm running around like a headless anki do. <laughs> Rest in peace, anki do the second. Uh, he gave his life. That Gilgamesh may continue. <laughs> oh man. Hello, us again with more weird questions. How did Ake Bono earn his fortune, you ask? By peddling a variety of medicinal wares for all manner of purposes. From what I heard, they were all remarkably effective and popular. He still enjoys a reputation as a premier source of alchemical goods. Oh. Would that I had the coin to afford such luxurious potions and potables. His clientele spends in a visit what I earn in a month. My goodness. Cool. Expensive potions. I'm sure nothing goes wrong whenever there's an entrepreneur of pharmaceuticals. Oh, no. <laughs> Always the best intent at heart. Oh, yeah. Can't go wrong. K-10. Thoughts? I should be glad to speak of Master Akebono to you, albeit solely with regards to his character as a businessman. Like all who have risen to mercantile prominence, he has been at the center of rumor and intrigue, for every man who sings his praises, there is another who would curse his name. None will deny the efficacy of his medicines, which is to be expected, given he utilizes the finest ingredients from that birthplace of alchemy, Radzatan. His satisfied customers are beyond counting. On the other hand, none can deny the exorbitant profits he's reaped by tightly controlling the supply of Han ingredients. Absent competition, he's free to dictate prices as he sees fit. Unfortunately, this has led many in desperate need of his miraculous medicines to spend their entire life savings, or seek assistance from disreputable moneylenders. His practices are ultimately wholly within the confines of the law, so again, as a businessman, he is to be lauded for his success, but I will say nothing on his morals or ethics, or lack thereof. What? Unheard <laughs> of. None of this sounds right. Hmm. You think someone would do that? Exploit the needs of the sick in order to make a profit? <laughs> As an old Don, I for one am disgusted. <laughs> <laughs> That's our thing. Yeah, hey, wait a minute. That's our fatal flaw as a nation. As well as several others, but, yeah. you know. We would share, but again, hold on. Find your own thing. <laughs> yeah, we would share. Wait a minute. No, we wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's completely out of character for us. Commanded to commit ritual suicide, huh? I knew he'd earned the ire of his masters, but not to such a degree. We've got to help Shigure before it's too late. Working on it. Have you tantalizing tidbits of information to share, my good man? Come, come, out with it. Well, the medicines Akebono sells are second to none, but Akebono built his fortune selling miraculous medicines for exorbitant prices. I feel that like that paints a more complete picture. A man who preys on the sick and needy for personal gain, is he? As expected, there's far more to Master Akebono than meets the eye. Inspector, Inspector, we've got to hurry. Shigure's execution is going to be carried out any moment now if we don't do something. Oh dear. 
What? Already? And there, I was hoping we might first conduct a thorough investigation and uncover information with which we might convince them to set the poor man free. But absent that... Ah! There are many roads which lead to just ends. If we must take a shortcut to avert a grave miscarriage of justice, then so be it! All right, then. Honored brothers, I will not beg your forgiveness. Only pray that by this humble offering of my life that I might absolve the Sekisegumi of the shame I've brought upon it through my misdeeds. Whoa! You move fast! This, this part seems unnecessary. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? That man is an imposter. Seize him. Seize him at once. Lead them on a merry chase. There they go. <laughs> Base. Shigure! Shigure! Now is your chance to escape! I... I will do no such thing. I may have lost what little honor was mine in life, but at least I can reclaim it in death. Hang on. The honor is yet yours, Samurai. Oh, I'm glad you knew who it was. You need not cut your belly open this day, Shigure, for you have the Soboro Sukehiro and the infamous Wolf Burglar besides. But... but why? We had a deal, remember? Temporary release, and I am a wolf of my word. Aye, this is indeed the Soboro Sukehiro. Very well. Escort the wolf burglar back to his cell and send a runner to Master Akebono's estate at once. I don't remember which of us this was. I'll take him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we are far from finished, Shigure. The wolf burglar may be in custody once more, but you must still answer for your reckless actions. Therefore, after further deliberation, I've decided that you will conduct a formal investigation into the rumors surrounding Master Akebono and... That will not be necessary. Indeed, with the return of the wolf burglar, I believe we considered this tiresome affair resolved. Who is this? Hello. Oh, hi. Oh, that guy. The Master Komode. Wait, I know you. Master Akebono's guest. The one the Geiko threw into the wall. 
Oh, surely you must be mistaken. I have no recollection of any such event. Or of you, for that matter. Anyway, as I said before, I believe there's no need for any further investigation. Should you deem otherwise, you are free to proceed. However, such wasteful expenditures may force us to reconsider the resources we allocate you and yours next year. Rest assured, Master Kumode, that we value your counsel deeply and should be glad to defer to your judgment. Shigure, the matter of the Soboro Sukehiro and Master Akebono is now officially closed. That will be all. Closed? Hmm. Yes, that will be all. I feel as though our work may not quite yet be done. Suspicious. <laughs> what do you think, Greg? It was just in the nick. Or before the nick, I should say. Did How is your selection box so huge? <laughs> Core, we did it! We saved Shigure! Yes, but... Still... <laughs> Verily, I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, have once more done the impossible and saved a man from certain death. A shame that the others seem so eager to wash their hands of the affair. Not Shigure, though. I understand he still has questions for the wolf burglar. I suppose so. Well done, sir. Though. Shigure wants answers now, or he wants them eventually. <laughs> <laughs> One of the two. What ho, Shigure! Over here! Hello. My friends, I cannot thank you enough. Had you not arrived when you had, I would not be standing before you now. You will forgive me for dispensing with further expressions of gratitude, for I have just returned from the jail where I spoke with the wolf burglar, who shared with me some rather troubling information. Do not keep us in suspense, my good man. What is it? Not long after we delivered the wolf burglar into the custody of the Sekisegumi, Master Akebono stormed into the jail and began berating the turnkey, demanding that they return the stolen contents of his safe. You may recall that we spoke with Master Akebono concerning this theft shortly after we first met. He was rather secretive regarding said contents at the time, but the wolf burglar said it was an unmarked satchel filled with a white powder. Given Master Akebono's reputation as a purveyor of medicines, our chivalrous thief resolved to steal it from, for the benefit of the poor and needy, as is his want. However, since there was nothing to identify what manner of medicine it was, the wolf burglar decided to hold on to it for safekeeping. Plainly, however, it was no ordinary medicine, for why else would Master Akebono clamor for it so? My keen inspector's sense is tingling. Where is that satchel now? In the possession of the men and women of the waterways. They'll not admit to this, however, unless we give them the proper password. As above, so below. Understood. Let us hasten to their den of iniquity. Yes. As much as we are able, there's not really a little etherite super close to there. Their etherite is jumping off the bridge. Basically, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Nope. I, I say again. Woo! There we go. Yeah. And here we are. I'm no good with dark places. Too easy to trip and bump your noggin. Hello there, Koju. Enjoying another fine morning in the waterways? Somehow I doubt they'll ever consider me a friend. Probably not dressed like that, no. A fine hideaway this is, away from the prying eyes of the local constabulary. Knew you lot to turn up again sooner or later. Didn't expect you to be bringing along another unfamiliar face, though. No matter. I like the cut of his jib. So, what are you after this time? 
a certain satchel containing a certain white powder which once belonged to a certain merchant. The wolf burglar told me you have it. If he did, then he'd have told you the magic words, too. Ah, yes, of course. They are... Soar high above Nether Golem! That sounds right. What? Kami, take me. No, this is no time for fun and games, Inspector. Hmm. As above, so below. Get low, get low, get low, get low. I will go <laughs> whither the wild rose blooms. Good call back, Dermon. And let me get back to you. All right, well, here. As above, so below. Ah, that's it. Nothing personal, but we've got to be careful. Damned if I know what it is, but my gut tells me it's nothing no honest man would keep in a locked safe. That said, a suspicious powder is far from incontrovertible proof of criminal misdeeds. We need to first determine what it is. Any ideas how we might do so? Um... Seek the assistance of a Hanish alchemist or someone versed in their alchemical traditions? Hmm. Perhaps someone at the Thavnarian Consulate. Brilliant minds think alike, for I too reached that conclusion but a moment ago. To the Thavnarian Consulate, my friends. Great plan. I love how much in retrospect a lot of <laughs> a lot of locations do kind of enter the story casually uh, in 14, well before they actually become places you can go. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. Here, you can't simply go and bang on the gates of a foreign consulate and expect to... <sighs> oh, never mind. <laughs> There's no stopping them. <laughs> Except this. And now we very slowly run. <laughs> it's not quite so much a fast way to get back up to the top as there is a way back down. Here we go. Hello. It is all rather sudden, I realize, but to reiterate, it is of the utmost importance that we speak with your superiors. To reiterate, have you lost an appointment or not? Not as such, no. Then, my hands, they are tied. These are procedures, Samurai, and much paperwork. No exceptions can be made. Under normal circumstances, I would agree, but this is a matter of, of public safety and welfare. Surely an exception can be made. What ho, young Mandeville man! Ooh, is it? Yay! Father! It's been too long. What brings you to the far side of the world? A complex series of events too exhausting to detail. Of greater importance is what brings us to the consulate. You see, we must needs enlist the assistance of a Hanish alchemist, or one with an encyclopedic knowledge of Hanish regents, and also there is an inconspicuous man by that etherite. <laughs> I keep almost missing him. <laughs> Just there. How fortunate, then, that we should chance to meet. I'm a representative of the Sajatra Concern, of Razatan, should you know not the name. We trade in all manner of alchemical goods. If your quandary requires the expertise of one versed in such wares, pray permit me to assist you. Indeed, to aid the son of Lord Godbert Manderville and his comrades would be an honor most great. That is most generous of you. Far be it from us to refuse. Perhaps a change of venue is in order. I say, let us not impose upon these hard-working keepers of the peace any longer. Lead the way. Hmm, this, this powder, it is most fascinating. An ingredient of Hanish origin, this is true, 
but not one intended for medicinal purposes. Dangerous purposes, rather, and for this reason its sale is forbidden. In the hands of a master alchemist it could be used to create Dewprism. I'm sorry, Dewprism? A most powerful drug. A mere thimbleful is enough to befuddle the senses, and render even the most strong-willed subject susceptible to any and all commands. You may be assured this is not an exaggeration. Resistance is, most regrettably, quite futile. Undetectable, it is, save for the occasional glimmer in the eyes, a changing of the color, fleeting and impossible. By the Kami, I've seen such a glimmer before. Oh, are you quite sure it was not a trick of the light? I too saw this. Master Komode is being manipulated. Inconspicuous. <laughs> uh. I had so expected upon seeing that character's arrival that they would be, like, integral to this story throughout. The fact that they've just still been sneaking around the entire time is... What do you mean? They're not? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well deduced, my faithful assistant and undying fan. I was just about to voice the same conclusion. Well, if what you say is true, then a most terrible crime has been committed. Evidence must be gathered, and those responsible must be punished. It all makes sense now. Why else would the chief co-encounter of the Sekusegami press so... It's a word I've not encountered. The chief co... Well, no wonder I said it all wrong. Why else would the chief co-encounter of the Sekusegami press so strongly to end an investigation into a modest merchant? Because he drugged him during the meeting. At last, we have motive, means, and opportunity. Come, let's put an end to this once and for all. Side note, look how big those koi fish are. It's a big fish. How wonderful it is to see Hildy's infectious enthusiasm inspire others to rise to the occasion once more. Well then, do not let me detain you. Good to see you again. Always a pleasure. And we don't have enough reason to come out to this corner of Kagane. Yeah, there's so many little spaces in 14 that are nice, but you never have, like, quests telling you to go there. Yeah. Which is a shame, because they're so well designed. Yeah, just pleasant little corners. Mm. All right, where... All right, ah, here we go. Boss, wait for us. Okay, Bono, we call on you to come forth and answer for your dastardly deeds. Doesn't seem like anybody's home, does it? Wherever could he possibly be? Huh? But that's impossible. Oh, hello. Boy, you're good. <laughs> Thought you'd see the last of me, did you? As if I'd content myself with sitting in a jail, I could escape on a whim while you lot bungle your chance to bring my nemesis to justice. And by escaping on someone else's watch, no one can pin the blame on you this time, eh? Wouldn't want a repeat of before. Don't tell me that this was your plan all along. To secure my freedom so we could expose Akebono's crimes together? And reclaim the Soporo Sukehiro into the bargain, I. This is no small undertaking, and I knew I'd need all the help I can get. Now that we're all on the same page, let's be on our way. The bastard's bound for the Isle of Beko. Off to meet with a silent partner, I'm told. Capital. If we hurry, perhaps we can beat Akebono to the punch. It is a plan. He may be an idiot, but he's got the right idea. There is no time to waste. Very well. If that is the way the winds are blowing, let no one say I don't also blow. I... yes. You fit right into our crew. 
<laughs> All right, sounds like haste is merited. We're off. And here we go. Finally, nice daylight weather. It's all coming together. This is the place. I'm sure of it. All we have to do is wait. The Mandervilles bless us with good filming conditions. Well, now. Father! By the Kami, could it be that the inspector's father is in league with Akebono? Don't be daft. Look closer. As always, your discretion in these matters is greatly appreciated. As is yours, Master Akebono. But to the matter at hand, the dew prism, it has served you well? Met your expectations, I trust. <laughs> Exceeded them, I should say. Never in my wildest dreams could I have imagined that the drug could be so powerful, so effective. Tasteless, odorless, colorless. The chief coin counter had no idea his drink had been compromised. He had already proven to be a most useful tool in manipulating the Seki Segumi. More than worth the regular upkeep to keep him in my thrall. Now that the Soboro Sukehiro is back where it belongs, I can set my sights on much bigger prizes. The Bugyosho, perhaps. Magistrate Akebono. <laughs> Why not? All Kugane is mine for the taking. You are more right than you know, Master Akebono, for I come bearing a gift courtesy of Manderville and Manderville, a most illustrious Eorzean consortium of which you have doubtless heard. Their resources are considerable, and their influence extends far beyond the borders of Aldenard. But all their wealth pales in comparison to what I present to you now. As we discussed, Lord Godbert, you will serve Master Akebono faithfully and without question, will you not? But... but of course... Kami forfend! He's under the influence of two prism. Oh dear. Wait, you fool. Now is not the time. Father, tis I, your beloved son, Hildebrand. Hearken to me. These men are villains. You are being deceived. The inspector arrives, as I knew he would. Doubtless your friends are cowering and hiding. Just as well. In one fell swoop, we shall bring an end to this farce. I call upon Eorzea's most fearsome of goldsmiths. I call upon the hammer. Go forth and lay waste to these interlopers. Oh dear. So long as he stays closed, I think we should be fine. Hopefully. It is our only hope. Um. Oh dear. I didn't come equipped for this. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. Oh dear. Oh no! Uh oh. Y'all okay? <laughs> Magnificent! Finish them all! Finish everyone!
Well, poor choice of words. Yep, gotta be more specific. Oh dear. It falls to you, Hildebrand Helador, Maximilian Manderville. You got this, boss. Forgive me, father, but you know not what you do. Make him proud. You're Amanda Manda Mandeville? <laughs> oh, memories. Who could forget? Oh, at the Coliseum. <laughs> And the Chimera. Yeah. They grow up so fast. <laughs> and presumably a 1.0 thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember this part. What a family. Mwah. <laughs> Mandeville man! Abort, father! Abort! Spare me your reverse Mandeville meteor strike! <laughs> Ooh. Won't be getting the better of your old man today, but keep trying. <sighs> and I'm spent. Hmm? What happened here? Well, this is all very embarrassing. Very embarrassing indeed. A thousand pardons to you all for my rather excessive display of martial prowess. Always a pleasure to see. Oh, and it should go without saying, but Mandeville and Mandeville will be severing all ties with the Sajatra concern. All right, the sword. Rejoice, my friend, for we have reclaimed the so- Oh, rejoice, <laughs> my friend, for we have reclaimed the Soboro Sukihira once more. How fortunate that the dastardly Akebono would be so loath to set it aside that he would rather bring it with him to a secret rendezvous. A final favor, and you'll indulge me. Lay it at my father's grave. Right then, I suppose you'll be wanting to get me back to the jail. Regardless of the reasons, a crime is a crime, and mine are many. And an upstanding Sekisegumi like yourself must adhere to a code, no? Indeed, I must. Which is why it will be with much regret that I inform my superiors I have seen neither hide nor hair of the notorious wolf burglar. Huh? You... you sure about this? Not if you ask me again. Go to your father. 
Shigure has the right of it. You should be the one to bring your father's spirit the comfort and closure it deserves. You're mad, each and every one of you, even the samurai, and I love you all the more for it. Thank you. Good meeting you. To hold fast to a righteous creed, yet recognize when too rigid an adherence would result in greater injustice. Truly, I am privileged to have witnessed this display of nuanced nobility. Would that, like the burglar, I might find a measure of peace in mourning mine own dearly departed. Oh, Enkidu, if only you knew how sorry I am. Oh. Enkidu's alive! Yay! What did you eat? And where's your dog? Thank you, do. But how? Then, then what was it that I ate that fateful day? <laughs> Fools. Think you this is the end? I think not. What? Um. Amazing aim. Incredible. Oh boy. Huzzah! You belong to me now, Ronin. Now, spirit me away from this place. Far, far, far away. <laughs> far, far, far away. <laughs> Greg, no! Cease your egress! Beyond the rift that lies between. To wondrous worlds yet unseen. Whoa. Well, wait, no, how dare you? <laughs> Mummy, this is going to all get worse before it gets better. Wait for me, Inspector. <laughs> it's going to be much harder to find them this time. <laughs> 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 there he goes, my beloved son. Not content to fly off into the sky as before, this time he elects to take his leave by vanishing into the earth. Brief though our time was together, I cannot deny how much he has grown. Both as an inspector extraordinaire and a Mandeville man besides. I say a father could not be more proud. Just, just gonna accept this? Not a big deal? <laughs> Alright. He's really good at rolling with the punches. <laughs> Taking it as it comes. He's the one who throws them, so presumably. <laughs> he has made sure that his son can survive anything. Basically anything. No cause for fear. And off goes Lord Godbert, along with Akebono. I should thank him for that. Nothing left for us but to follow them back to Kagane, I suppose. Are you ready? I think so. Good, then let us be off. I'll be right behind you, but probably ahead. Nope, you still beat us somehow. You're good. I cannot even begin to imagine where I would have would be had I never crossed paths with you and your comrades. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for everything. The Sekisegumi have concluded that even before the chief coin counter fell under Akebono's thrall, he willingly and enthusiastically conspired with the merchant to illicit ends, and so he will be held to account. As for Akebono and his now defunct enterprise, the Thavnarian consulate has agreed to intercede on behalf of its countrymen to broker a more equitable arrangement between Hanish suppliers and Hingon merchants. All agree that another monopoly would serve no one's interests. 
Regardless of their motivations, if their actions put more medicine in the hands of the sick and needy, then I think it's safe to call it a change for the better, don't you? The best part, if you ask me? In light of Akebono's crimes, all debts owed to him by those forced to pay his exorbitant prices are to be wiped clean. That's all sounding very good. There was a time when I might not have thought as much. Good and evil, the innocent and the criminal. It all seemed so simple in the abstract, but out here, in the real world, life is anything but. You and the inspector helped me to understand how naive I was. You taught me to look beyond appearance and hearsay, and not be too quick to judge a man for his misdeeds. If I'm worthy of the Sekisegumi, it is because of you and him. Happy to help for what little I feel I contributed in the grand scheme. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, what exactly did become of Inspector Hildebrand? Do you think we ought to do something? Conduct a search, or...? Oh, so this is a regular occurrence, is it? Fair enough. If you are certain that he'll turn up eventually, none the worse for wear, then I shall take your word for it and strike all worry from my mind. Should that fateful day ever come that you and he are reunited once more, I but ask that you give him my best regards. I would say the same for the wolf burglar. I wonder what he's doing now. Keeping watch for the next Akebono, or paying his respects to his father. Definitely this one, maybe the other one afterward. What becomes of a man after death, I do not know. But I should like to believe that his father rests more easily this day. Shigure, this is no time to dawdle. Your duties are far from finished. Y yes, yeah, forgive me. Right away. I must take my leave, but whenever you're passing through Kugane, I pray you do not hesitate to call on me here at the barracks. You got- ooh, we got a new dance. Yes! A Manderville Mambo? Gotta try that on. Wow, he's really good at the Kugane jumping puzzle. Very good. I applaud your skills. I'll get there someday. <laughs> Very good. Yes! Yeah. Oh. Glad the dog's okay. <laughs> New dance is looking very good. Best dance in the game. <laughs> Hildebrand will return. Tied with the other best dance in the game. Yeah, of course. Ah, that was a delight. Yeah. We've done it. Thank you for joining me for another one of these. Joe, this has been a grand old time. I really enjoy doing these little uh, side series with you. <laughs> Same. Likewise, I enjoy being a part of them. I freaking love the Hildebrand quests, every single one of them. <laughs> and I've been coming to enjoy them a great deal as well for getting to go through them for the first time with you. So I very much am glad that you came up with the idea originally, and I am very happy that we've been uh, continuing these. Yeah. As I mentioned uh, at one point earlier uh, in this little run of episodes, there is not a Hildebrand uh, story within Shadowbringers, but there is one in Endwalker. So eventually 
Joe and I will return to continue this story and catch up with uh, our side boss, I guess, the inspector. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you all for joining. I hope you've enjoyed. And uh, I don't know when we'll be back to uh, get Shadowbringer started, but it won't be too long, hopefully. So do take care until then. I look forward to it as well. Goodbye, everyone.